Hello and welcome back to another video of the Nutty Woodworker. Uh, in this video I will be doing a review of the JCB Steadying Compound Meter Saw. You may be saying to yourself there's been a lot of reviews on this channel. The reason for that is because that um, I've had a whole thing with um, meter saws in the past and hopefully this is it sorted out. So JCB, I rang them up. Um, the, the wind sent me a new one so I had to bring back B&Q. Where I got my old one from and being he exchanged it for the one I've got now. It was a bit more money but it's a bigger saw so I'll set this up and I'll open the box. So guys I'll take this out of the box and this is how it came. What I like about this saw is it comes assembled so you don't have to assemble it or nothing the way you did the evolution. Uh, this is a bigger saw so I can cut more. Um, and this in here the sliding mechanism is like really light so I really do like this saw it's, I love the way it comes to sound but it's a bigger saw the blade's bigger than this one here the last blade I had was uh, 210 this is 255 so it's bigger um, so yeah Don't really have to do much in this video because it's already assembled for you. And this saw was a bit more dear. It was an extra 24 quid. 24, 27. Not 100% sure. I'll put the price up in the corner of the screen. But at least you got a bag with this one here. The other one, the evolution, you didn't. Um, come on. And guys, at the end of the video, I'll be doing an outro, and I'll have to talk to you about the channel, so I will. So, I'm going to make sure this is square. If I can get the square right. The other JCB I had, the first one, um, when I took it out of the box, it was square and everything, so I didn't have to do anything to it. Which was really good. I wonder if this one's going to be. It is eight by about a mil. So I'll adjust it there. What about this bit? Is it out or is it square? I think my fingers weren't out. Right, come on. That's not going to be any good. I'm trying to get it so I can get... I'll just do here. Let's go this way. Take by about 0 0.1 mil. So it is. So really it's nothing to worry about. I'm not gonna worry about that, so I'm not that there right there, it's square. So is that there tilt from both sides? Uh, I thought I made it tilt it the other way. But oh well. Um, what else I like with this saw is because I've got a small shop, I can take off this here, and put it over to the side, cut my wood, bring it back. Slide it on. That's a far better. So it is as well. I like that. What else do I like about it? It's got a built in stop, which means you can put this here up. So you can't. And then this here comes out. So you can do big 
Thanks. How big is it? Um, you're going to be up to uh, 460 millimeters or 18 inches. And then if it's in a closed down position, like that, that gives you an extra uh, half an inch, 55 mil, or 550 mil, sorry. Then you can do fine adjustments at this side, which is great. Overall, it's a brilliant saw. Did not set up anything on it, which I like. Um, the two fences move, which is great. Um, really fantastic saw. Can't say much about it, apart from it's a brilliant saw. Um, I'm going to plug it in here, and I'm going to see if it runs. It's a 200 watt motor, or 2000 watt motor, so it is. So, the last saw we had, the air bar, um, it was a 2000 watt motor, it blew the electrics in my shop. Hopefully this one doesn't do the same. I'm hoping like, so I am, I think it's a 2000 watt motor. Um, where is it? Oh, it's a 1600 watt motor, so it is. So it shouldn't blow the fuse, the other one was a 1400 watt. Didn't blow the fuses in my house. So then, which is brilliant. Game guys, I'll set this up and I'll do an intro of the saw. So guys, the JCB sledding compound meter saw, uh, I don't know what model it is, um, but yeah, would I recommend this saw, 100%, fantastic saw, one of the best saws I've had in a long time, really good, the evolution was brilliant as well, um, it just wasn't big enough for me, so I'm bringing it back, but this one here, fantastic, brilliant saw, absolutely brilliant, would highly recommend it, um, about, I buy about less than a mil, nothing to worry about I'll, I'll adjust that off camera but yeah it's a fantastic saw I would really recommend you connect to get it um, again guys if I then said to start uh, this is not sponsored by B&Q or Screw or JCB um, I just really like JCB as a make uh, they're a really good make they're up there with uh, what do you call it DeWalt and uh, what do you call it I forget the name of it guys but they're up there with like DeWalt and all the big brands they're really good saw, so they are. Um, but yeah, that's all I can really say about the saw. Um, now I'll talk about the channel. I've been noticing that this episode of these series videos are getting quite a good lot of views. Um, I'm glad about that, like. But there's only really one thing that I'm not glad about. I'm not getting many feedback from much people. So if you comment below what I could do better or what I could uh, improve on, I did see on one of the come on one of the videos, someone commented. I forget your name, sorry, dude. But if he commented saying, "Why is this thumbnail of a Dewalt saw instead of a the Airbar saw?" The reason for that is because I did not do the thumbnail. Uh, Saints Knight of the All Saints Network did the thumbnail, and he hasn't got a bony notion of tools. So in a way, it's my fault because I should have said to him. But yeah, that's the reason why it was like that. Um, uh, also, you'll not be able to, there won't be a video next week, as I'll be taking a break from doing, uh, videos, as uh, I have hurt myself. I've hurt myself, I've strained myself, so I have. So there are not going to be that many more, that many videos this month. I'll try and get as, out as many as I can, even if we're just talking videos like this. Um, but, yeah. Sorry guys, there's not going to be that many videos this week, and... Yeah, that's all I can say, but thanks for watching, and I hope you liked the video. If you don't like the video, please do dislike it, because then it gives me uh, a verdict of what I could do better. And also comment below if you do dislike it, comment below so I could do something better. If you dislike it and don't comment below, then you're just a dick, and you don't really have a life. But yeah, comment below, and if you dislike it, comment below, but if you like it, uh, comment below, and I really do appreciate it. Um... Yeah, guys, that's all I can say, but apart from thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.